In this short video, some information regarding the lectures in the field of power, device and circuits are given. The lectures in power, device and circuits are uh, given at the University of Naples. They are in the, for the master degree, the electronic engineering curriculum. The teacher for uh, these lectures is myself and my name is Ettore Napoli. Which is the topic of these lectures? Everybody knows that every electronic system needs energy to work. This means that there are, in this field, infinite applications. Just few of them are battery chargers, electric cars, trains, motor control, welding, and so on. The field of power electronics and the field of power devices and in particular power semiconductor devices is generated by the fact that the energy that is needed for these electronic systems comes from a variety of sources. We have, for example, 230 volts, 110 volts AC, variable DC from wind or photovoltaic sources. We have variable DC from batteries and many other sources. These sources are not adequate for the typical electric or electronic systems that need regulated energy in other forms, for example, regulated DC voltage or regulated AC voltage. In these lectures will be explained how to design the circuits that will transform one form of energy into another form, the form that is, that is required by a particular circuit. The general scheme of the circuits that are studied in these lecture, lectures is the following. There will be a power supply, unregulated power supply. Will be needed a, a certain amount of input filtering for this energy and also a power circuit will be designed that will transform one source of energy into another. Then an output filtering will provide the final regulated energy source to the load. Very important in this kind of system is the signal processing section and the drivers that control the power circuit. In these lectures the, the focus will be on the input filtering, power circuit and output filtering. The signal processing drivers, even if very important, is not a topic that will be discussed in these lectures. More in uh, particular and giving an example of what, on, of what will be studied. In these lectures the focus will be into two fields. The circuits, the power circuits that will be DC to DC, AC to DC and DC to AC converters. These are uh, just few examples of the circuits that, are, that we are talking about, the size and their appearance. This is a typical power supply that you can find in your desktop, laptop, or personal computer. And these are demo boards with the back boost converters. This, this is just to show you the typical size of these power circuits. This is something that is 10 cm, 10 cm by 10 cm in size. These components are visible, they are few centimeters in size. These are circuits for low power applications, but when the power increases, the size of the circuits can be can become larger and even much larger. A, a high power circuit can be meters in size, cube meters in size. The second focus of the lectures is on electronic components, in particular power semiconductor devices. MOSFETs, IGBTs, PIN diodes, GTO, and so on. Also, in this case, we are talking about uh, semiconductor devices that, uh, that deal with power and they are, they are quite big in size. These are a few examples. These are low power components, these are discrete components, MOSFETs, and their size is, uh, in this case, 
one centimeter by one centimeter. These are slightly smaller, but always visible with your uh, bare uh, high eye, and uh, you can pick them with your with your hand. But when the power increases, this is an IGBT module for uh, traction trains in particular, the size and the weight increases. In this case, as you can see, compared to a pencil, this IGBT module is quite big and also, I can tell you, quite heavy. This is the focus of the lectures that will be given. It is, it is, it is also very important to understand that since the applications in, the, in terms of circuits are infinite. There are many, many companies that work in the field. And also for every different application, there will be needed a different power semiconductor device. And this also means that there are many companies that uh, commercialize and design power semiconductor devices. This means a lot of opportunities for jobs and careers in the field. Also, the research and development activity throughout the world in universities and research centers is very active nowadays. I hope that this introduction has been useful to you. If you like the topic, if you enjoy the lectures, please subscribe so that when a new lecture is available, you will be notified.